Hey everyone, Live It Like Lisa here and today I have a, another collab video for you guys. This time it's a Halloween decor collab and it's almost like Battle of the Hemispheres. We've got Northern Hemisphere versus Southern Hemisphere. <laughs> so we've got four chicks involved in this collab, four lovely ladies shouldn't call them chicks, four lovely ladies. We have Claire from Claire's Crafty Corner in the UK and Tony from Crafty Decor by Tony also in the UK. Then you've got moi, myself, Lisa from Live It Like Lisa, of course, and the lovely Shell from Shell's Glam Home. We're both here in Australia. Four girls teaming up to share with you some different Halloween decor that we've come up with. Today, for my part in the collab, I will be showing you how I'm decorating my tiered tray for Halloween, as well as showing you some little quick and easy decor projects that I'm going to do for the tiered tray. Because here in Australia, I say it all the time, but we, we can't, I mean, especially where I live in port, like we're classed as regional. So we don't even get half the stuff that most of the metro areas get. And you just can't find any nice decor. So if you can't buy it, you've got to DIY it. That's basically the motto. So I'm gonna show you, I'm not sure how many, maybe four to five little decor projects that I'll be making to put in my tray. And then at the end of the video, I will show you how I'm actually decorating that tray, the tiered tray. So I will leave a link to all the girls participating in this collab down below. I'm pretty sure we're gonna do a playlist. So I will leave a link to that playlist down below as well. So make sure you head over, check out everyone's videos. Uh, I absolutely love all these girls that we've got in this collab. They are some of my favorite YouTubers. And I'm so glad we could get together and do this project for you guys. So once you finish watching my video, definitely head over and watch all the other girls' videos. And yeah, I will see you at the end of the video. So what we're going to do with these pumpkins is paint them white with some white chalk paint. I apologize for all the background noise. We're having a major storm at the moment. My family talk like they're bloody on a friggin battleship. I don't know, like they've just got such loud voices. And <laughs> what we're going to do first is remove all the stems because I'm probably going to be painting them either a brown color or black. And I'm just using my homemade chalk paint, which, oh, it's smelling quite bad. So it's probably on its way out, which I just make using some plaster of Paris and regular wall paint. And I will leave a link to a video in the description box below that shows you the recipe that I use. So yeah, these will probably need a couple of coats, I would say, just to cover up all that orange. Okay, so literally these pumpkins took about 9,000 coats of chalk paint before the orange didn't show through. So if you have a chance to purchase white ones straight off eBay, just get them white because I don't know, that's some supersonic orange paint on those things because nothing covered it. <laughs> so here I'm just painting the stems black. And now what we're going to do is just decorate some of these pumpkins. So I've just done in pencil some little designs and words on the pumpkins and I'm just tracing over them in a black sharpie. I'm not very artistic in, you know, freehanding stuff. So <laughs> I've just done it in pencil first and then just tracing over it again with a sharpie. So we're doing spooky on this pumpkin. And then I'm doing like a, almost like a Ray Dunn inspired boo on this one in that sort of style writing. And then we're doing a little bit of a ghost face on this one, which I think is really cute. And I end up rubbing out those extra nostrils in <laughs> that I've done in the pencil. So they get rubbed out later on. And yeah, just color them in with the Sharpie. I lost the footage doing the dots on the other pumpkin, but yeah, just basically some dots on one pumpkin, some stripes on this one. And I think I went back in on the spooky one and just added a bit more de decoration to it, like as in a few dots you can see in the background there, thickened up some of the swirls a little bit.
Okay, so next what we're going to do, excuse my <laughs> hands already, I am the messiest crafter in the world, I swear to God. Um, so next what we're going to do is I'm going to create a couple of little frames that we're going to put some uh, Halloween pictures in. I've got these old Jenga blocks, which, so we've got two flat like that, two standing up, and then another two standing up like that. And we're going to glue them all together so it makes a little frame and we can put a little picture in here. Glue these two together. I'm going to find a nice picture on the internet and I'll show you that in a second. I just didn't think to do that before I filmed this part of the video. <laughs> so I'll do that. So I like to use this big tub of PVA wood glue. It's an all-purpose glue. Get it from Bunnings. It's a massive four litre container and it's only $20. You can probably use hot glue as well but to be honest this stuff is going to be a lot stronger than hot glue and you know me if you've see, seen in any of my videos you know how much I hate hot glue. So I've decided on these two images. This one I found straight off the internet. I just typed broom, uh, witch on a broom. And this one I just created in a Word document, just put October 31. So I've just made them big enough to fit on there. So we're going to cut them out. Just let those dry and while those are drying we're going to give these a coat of paint. Alright so our little blocks are all dried now so I'm going to trim off all the excess and then we're going to stick our frames on. What I like to do when I'm trimming paper off wood, I like to use sandpaper. I think it gives you a bit of a cleaner edge and sandpaper away from your picture like that and it will just saw off the excess. See how nice and smooth that edge is? A lot better than if you were trying to cut it I think. Okay, so all we have to do now is just glue our side pieces on like that and then last I'm just going to touch up the sides. So I think they look really cute. So next I just have this little jar that I had in my collection that I picked up from a thrift store. I'm going to give that a coat of black acrylic paint and I'm going to use that in my tray also. The next little DIY project going in the tray are these tags. They were from the reject shop. I'm just going to remove the ribbon, peel off the sticker at the front we are going to cut out some tag images that again I just found on the internet just typed in Halloween tags and printed those off. I'm just going to give the tags a coat of black acrylic paint all over back and front and then we're going to stick the images that we've printed off straight on top just using some PVA glue again the all-purpose glue that's good for everything 
and again to take like to take off any of the um, excess from the edges just remove it with some sandpaper I feel it gives you the best finish and I'm just coating the front of these with more PVA glue just to protect them and this is just sanding off the excess edges and giving them a bit of a rustic feel as well And then to finish them off, I'm just using some of this Buffalo Check ribbon. I'm just folding it over two times, cutting it and then tying it in the middle with a little bit of burlap twine just to create a small little bow that we're just going to stick on the top to cover that hole. And I just trim off the um, edge, like trim off the bottom of these ribbons to give them that little um, flagged look at the bottom I don't know what you call it and I just secured these on with some hot glue the next cute little DIY we're going to do for our tray is a tiny miniature witch's broomstick so I've just found a suitable sized twig in the backyard and I'm just gathering up some burlap twine, uh, just sort of making it roughly the size that I want for my broom. Then we're going to secure it to the actual twig just by tying it on with some extra burlap twine, wrapping that around the twine and the stick itself till it's secure and then tying it off. And then we're just going to trim all the folded over pieces so that they look like they're all done as a single piece. Just trim them from the top and then trim the bottom as well. I just think this looks adorable. Like how cute is that? Tiny little witch's broom. Now along the witch's theme we're also going to make a tiny witch's hat. So this is a piece of self-adhesive foam. Now if you have a black piece obviously use that if you want a black hat. I only had like colourful pieces so I just picked a green one and I'm just painting it with some black acrylic paint. You can also use felt, that would also work. So once the paint has dried, I'm just roughly tracing a circle to create the cone of the hat. I'm just using this glass as a little bit of a guide. As you can see, it's not all exact. It's just rough because I don't have any pattern to use. I'm just winging it as always. <laughs> so cut your circle out, fold it in half and cut like, you know, just to even it all off a bit on the outside and then cut that circle on the inside. So this is going to be our rim. And then to create the actual cone, we're going to cut like a quarter circle shape. So as you can see here, like a quarter circle, roughly, <laughs> very roughly. Now I'm just folding it over just to get a feel for the size of it and just seeing if this is going to fit onto the rim and how much more I need to cut the rim. So again, I'm just going back in to cut that circle a little bit bigger so that it fits the cone. Now I'm just cutting two little tabs off the either side of the straight piece just so that when I turn it into a cone, this is going to act as the flap that's going to stick on the underside. You'll see what I mean when I actually do it. So pinch the top pieces together and then this flap, just tuck it underneath and attach that, like attach the cone, other side of the cone to it. If you're using felt and not self-adhesive foam, just use some hot glue to attach the two pieces together. You won't need to cut the flaps and now just sort of trim trim that cone so that it's even on the bottom and then sit it so that it doesn't go all the way down you want a little bit of a um, bit sticking up like this so you can cut some flaps in the bottom of it and then that's going to stick it to the rim god my instructions are terrible but hopefully by watching what i'm doing it makes more sense 
So I'm going to peel off that self-adhesive back now on the rim. Just peel the thing off for God's sakes. <laughs> so that's all sticky adhesive. And then I'm just going to fold those flaps over that rim so that they attach and secure to the hat. Now, because that's all sticky at the bottom, what I'm going to get is just a plain black piece of cardstock and I'm just going to stick the hat to that cardstock and then trim it off. And that way there's no sticky back or sticky pieces hanging out. Great camera work, Lisa. And now I'm just going back over with some acrylic paint just to touch up all the edges and all the bits where the green is still showing through. Look how easy is that? It looks so cute. Tiny little witch's hat. <laughs> okay, guys, so now that all of our little tiered tray projects are done, I've gathered a few of my supplies and just a few bits and pieces from around the home that I want to decorate the tiered trays with. Now I'm going for a pretty mono, um, what is it? What do you call it? Mono, mono, just black and white. <laughs> Why do the words escape me whenever I'm on film? Just a black and white theme is what I'm going for. Monochromatic. There we go. <laughs> oh, my God. What's wrong with me? So, yeah, we're going for a monochromatic theme. So just sort of black and white and neutrals. And not sure if I'm going to be using all of it. We'll see how full it gets. But, um, yeah, I've got a couple of tea towels at the back to use as a bit of filler as well. So I'll set the camera up and we'll start decorating with all this now. Um, one of my pitfalls of eBay I purchased this lantern with the idea that it was gonna go you know on my mantle and um, <laughs> as you can see kind of got the sizing a little bit wrong <laughs> so it's perfect for a tiered tray a little miniature lantern is what I actually purchased rather than something ten times the size what I was expecting kitchen bench here and I'll give you a little close-up of all the pieces in there let me try and get you in a better light ah this might be better this way I've also put a couple of little tea light candles in amongst it as well so that looks really nice at night time so here we've got our spooky pumpkin we've got our skull there our little witch's hat 
We got the broom with a little ceramic pot and some mice coming out. Have a little cauldron here with some ghost. They're just sitting on a um, paddle pop stick. So that's the top tray. Then moving down here, we have the little tag that I made, as well as that little pumpkin guy. I really like the way he's turned out. He's pretty cool. We've got the skeleton, this little buffalo print pumpkin is one I made. Another tea light candle. Then coming around this way, we have the little 30th, 31st of October sign. I've got a little plastic cauldron there, a little skeleton's hand, and then at the back here, we've got a crow, another skeleton skull, and a plain pumpkin. Then down the bottom here, we have a skull and some crows. I've just filled it in with some like spiders and pumpkins. Got the tea towel in there. Some more pumpkins at the back. This little skull guy. So yeah, I'm really happy with the way that's turned out. I really like the monochromatic, got the word right this time, <laughs> monochromatic theme. And I'm loving my little witch's hat and broomstick. I think that just looks so cute. So yeah, I'm, I'm not going to show you too much of the background because I'm going to do a whole house tour. I mean, I haven't decorated the whole house for Halloween. We'll be doing a little tour of our living areas decorated for Halloween. But that's my tiered tray setup. I really hope you've liked this video, guys, and I hope you've enjoyed watching all the other girls' videos in the collab. Definitely check out the other girls' channels below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.